another video. I am your host, Ana Carolina, and I am back with another wash day for you guys. As you guys can see, I have my hair somewhat curly, but looking a little crazy. Um, it held me down, to be honest with you guys. I tried a new product and I did not record it. Um, I did not share or record my last um, wash day with you guys because I was kind of rushing. I was on a time crunch. I was prepping myself for my sister's bridal shower last weekend and I was using a new product and I have to show you guys like look this is like I have not re I have not refreshed my hair and I've cut my hair up I've sleeked my hair back I've done a couple things to it and my curls are still there so to me perfect 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 so I'm going to do a couple things differently today. I'm going to do a hot oil treatment. So I'm going to begin with washing my hair with shampoo and conditioner. And I will go ahead and show you step by step of how I do the oil treatment as this is my first time doing a hot oil treatment on my hair. So we're going to do this together, okay? But in the meantime, I'm going to finish my green juice that I have here. This is nothing special and nothing paid or sponsorship by or anything of that nature. This is just something that I decided to research and I decided to buy on my own. This is my athletic greens juice that I drink every morning. And I love it. It's like 75 vitamins and all that grunt, all that good stuff in it. But um, neither here or there. I'm going to finish my green juice and I'm going to jump in the shower and wash my hair because it's starting to itch a little bit. You know what? I, I'm gonna jump in the shower once I'm done in the shower I'll show you guys the new products that I bought I'll show you guys the oils that I bought as well so I can mix it in and I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna jump in the shower so I'll catch you guys later welcome back familia now I am here with a damp hair and a bun for you guys and I am sitting here ready to show you guys the hot oil treatment now this is something that I research more suitable for my hair type but I'm not saying that I may not be suitable for yours so I'm just gonna go through each ingredient and tell you what is beneficial about each ingredient now I bought this bottle applicator to begin with because it's something that you need so I got mine at Sally's for $2.99 I think it was beginning with oils you are going to need extra virgin olive oil now don't judge me because I slipped on that one I thought I had extra virgin olive oil but I have regular olive oil so here it is the benefits from the extra virgin olive oil it's great for scalp and hair health so that is the reason why we would be using the olive oil well me the olive oil if you want to get the extra virgin olive oil go for it so again, I don't have like exact measurements. I'm just going based off of the ounces that the bottle has. And I have exactly four, yes, I have four oils. So that is exactly perfect. So one ounce of each oil is gonna be exactly what I need. Next, we have the tea tree oil. I got this one at Target, it was $2.99 I want to say I'll go ahead and place it above I was eating Cheetos earlier so if you guys see my fingers that's the reason why <laughs> um this is great for antifungal and it's great for dandruff so that is the benefits for the tea tree oil next we're going to go with the jojoba oil I got this at Target as well same price as the tea tree oil um this is great 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 for reducing frizz and last but not least I got the 100% pure Jamaican black castor oil by Shea Moisture this my sister actually gave to me so I don't know the pricing of this or where she got it but I'm sure you can find this anywhere um, I know I've definitely seen this at Target I've seen it at Walmart I've seen it at Sally's so wherever you can get your hands on um jamaican black castor oil go for it it doesn't have to be 100 percent pure but i had this one so i'm gonna go ahead and use this one and the benefits of this is great for growth 
So if you want to lengthen your hair, go for this baby. Shall we begin? <laughs> All right, let's do this. have our oils and time to shake it and mix it up. All right. Should be all shucking up now. All right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to put this in hot water. We do not want to microwave it because if we put in a microwave, it's going to just unbalance all the chemicals and the benefits of the oils in it. So it's going to be defeating the purpose of it. So we're not going to put it in, my, in the microwave. I got my hot cup of water. Can you see this thing? A little bit. No. I can see it, but it's all good. Because I know it's steaming, so. So we're just going to let that sit in here. Make sure it doesn't. Well, it's not going to go anywhere. So we're just going to let this sit in there for five minutes. And after those five minutes, we're going to go ahead and apply it to our hair. All right. Let's go ahead and set the timer. And I will see you guys in five minutes. All right, homies, we are back. Now, be careful if you're pulling out the bottle out of a hot water. Because no te quiere queman. Si te te queman, no culpa mía. Okay? Not my fault. <laughs> I warned you and you should be a little bit more intelligent about it, but yeah, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> Remember, we're doing a hot oil treatment here. All right. Dele conmigo. Say it with me. Hot oil treatment. All right. So we're going to take it out of here. All right. Cool. We're gonna take this out of the way so you don't spill the hot water, aka so I don't spill the hot water and damage any of my technology que tengo aquí or spill it on myself because that's already happened to me before. That's a long story for another day. Actually, it wasn't a long story. Let me take you back to 2015. Working Thanksgiving, trying to get overtime at that job. I don't know for why. For why? I don't know for what reasons. The job they had, not a revolving door, but it was like, you know, one way. It was like the door could don't pull, huh? And you come in, come out, whatever. Here I come, all, hop, all happy, whatever. Trying to get my hot chocolate. Yeah. Walking in, my hot chocolate. Got hot water in my cup like that. Like, mm, 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 mm. Walking out. Here I am. Walking into the break room, about to mix up my hot chocolate. And here comes the boba. Pushes the door like nothing, like she owns the place. And then the door opens, pours the hot water all over my chest. So to say, if the water gets hot enough, my chest turns dread. That was my long story, but let's continue. <laughs> all right, so here's our mix. A hot oil treatment, baby. Yeah. It's like not super hot that you're gonna burn yourself hot, but just be careful, please. Please be careful because I don't want you to say, Anna made me do this. Mm -mm. I warned you, I warned you. <laughs> but I guess it depends how much you can tolerate. Like I can tolerate, I can hold it. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be careful. So we're gonna take our hair down. And we're going to section our hair. But instead of sectioning like how I normally section my hair to style it, we're just going to section it in half. All right, guys? So. so, it doesn't have to be anything even, nothing even Steven here. So, let's just grab this side. 
and my little cute clips like the funny thing with that with everything that i have here most of my stuff is pink and i don't like pink but i continue to buy stuff that are pink like my clips are pink my carpets are pink and some of the stuff i have in the bathroom are pink but i don't like pink my favorite color is blue and like most of the stuff i have in my room aren't blue besides my bed in the background like who does that who does that so it's like I noticed that like even in our kitchen, like it was just like it was, it, our kitchen was a disaster. Like nothing matches. So I was like I'm trying to get in there. Like okay, you know, like, can we get a little organization in here? Some color pattern going on because like we have this color, we have that color. And, like on disaster. Like no honey. So right now I found the cutest, cutest um utensil holder which we needed very badly because like we have very limited um space in our kitchen so it was like the gaveta we were using it was just like too cramped that too much crap in there so i was like no so i bought a utensil holder and it's a mal de ojo the evil eye so i was like yes baby and it's blue so i'm like yes baby you're coming home with me so i'm 99 at, at home goods so i was like mine so i took it so i'm like you know what let me throw some blues here let me throw some mustard yellows let me throw some grays so i go to home goods earlier this week as a matter of fact and i find kitchen towels white royal blue like the color of the maleo home uh yellow and gray i'm like come here you're coming home with me <laughs> So all I gotta do is go keep clean the kitchen to how I like it. Cause like man can do they can clean. But when it comes to how we like it clean, it's a different story. But for our hair, we're gonna go ahead and start from roots to tips. Got it? Roots to tips. Roots to tips. Alright. So enough about me. Oh, it feels good. It really feels good. Make sure you get it all in there. It smells good too. I didn't even think about the smell. It smells like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it legit smells like, um, what's that brand? Um, the little kids chapsticks that we used to use back in the 90s. The smuckers, the lip smuckers left, uh, chapsticks. That's what it smells like, like bubble gum, almost. I'd rather have that than some funky smelling hair that I can't tolerate the smell.
cap, shower cap, whatever you have, that'll cover your hair. If you have a hooded dryer, go ahead and use it and apply heat for the next 15 to 20 minutes. The next thing I could think of is just go ahead and apply a microfiber towel and just place it on top of the plastic and just let it sit and marinate in my hair for the next 15 to 20 minutes. So that is what I shall do. I'm going to put it on. ahead and set our timers for 15 to 20 minutes I'll go ahead and I'm gonna leave mine on for 15 minutes only because personally I'm a little afraid of if my hair is gonna be a little too oily after this but this is my first time <clears throat> excuse me this is my first time I won't know until I try so 15 minutes here we go timer just went off guys so let's go rinse off my hair i am still gonna deep condition my hair because i still want that moisture in my hair well let me go wash my hair and once i sit down i will tell you guys what i decided to do so i am gonna go ahead and deep condition my hair after we did our oil treatment i always do that i always want to throw on the bed but then I remember I have white sheets and I don't want to do that. So, my hair still smells like the kids' chapstick, the lip smackers. It does feel oily, but it feels soft. Like, I can legit run my fingers through my hands. My hair. <laughs> I think about what I just said. I can legit run my fingers through my hair. Like, without it being stopped. So it's very soft. Like, I cannot complain. I love it. But I am shedding hair like crazy right now. As I said, I am going to go ahead and deep condition my hair. I am going to stick to the Camille Rose. Um, which one was this again? The Black Castor Oil and Chabay Deep Deep Conditioner. I used this last time and I showed this to you guys. So, let's get started. I just love how it smells and this is the consistency inside of it all right so again when i <clears throat> excuse me when i deep condition i don't have a specific way of deep conditioning i just train my curls and twist it up so i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward but you guys can see how or you guys can see what i'm talking about when i say train my curls so i'm gonna enjoy my show and you guys can enjoy the show while i do my hair conditioner in for about 30 minutes just so my hair can go ahead and absorb all the moisture it needs so in the meantime I'm gonna put in a new 
plastic cap. And it would look so weird when I first got it. I was like, what the hell is Discover this? The power of I was like, Liberty where's the rest of it? Liberty I realized I had to open it up. It's a Christian so, that it and as per usual use a microfiber towel to create the heat that your hair needs to absorb the moisture all right so as i mentioned i'm gonna go ahead and set the timer for 30 minutes in the meantime, I'm just gonna chill out and I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I am back and it is absolutely much later. And by later, I mean a day later. After I rinsed out my deep conditioner yesterday, I just let my hair air dry and I left it alone. I didn't style it, so that is what I'm doing here today. I did mention to you guys that I had styled my hair last weekend with a new product. And I'm gonna actually, I mean, bleh, rewind. I am actually gonna show you guys the new product and I'm gonna style it with the gel. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna match the gel with it because last time I ended up using the Curl Smith um, Hydro Flexi Jelly. And this time I have the actual cream and I have the actual jelly. So let me introduce to you the, the Dew Cream. Uh, twist and curl cream is what I used before and this is what I had last weekend in my hair that made my curls look phenomenal like I am not gonna lie my curls look so juicy it lasted until yesterday when I showed you guys my before I did the hot oil treatment so for this baby I think it was $11.99 I will price it up for you guys because I am not 100% sure. I think I want to say it was $14.99, but again, I'll price it for you guys. I definitely know I got it at Target. Oops, my bad. I got it at Target, so that I know for sure. And to match it, I got the Do Big Papa Pop and Curls Notorious Definition Defining Gel. So enough yapping and let's get these curls popping all right i haven't smelled the gel it smells very floral i like it look at the texture it's a very thick texture like, yeah so I have to be, I'm very heavy handed with my products. So I have to be careful with this one. As you can see it's, yeah, it smells good. I like it. So let's set down the hair. All right. The mane is out. I want to see how long it actually takes for me to do my hair. And by do my hair, I mean just style it only. So right now it is currently 721. I don't, I don't think you guys can see that very clearly, but it's 721. So let's get started. But first I need to, yeah, my hair is a little too dry for this. So I need water. BRB. All right. And I got my mist spray bottle right here with cold water because cold water helps your curls. I don't know if it's true. I just believe so. So let me believe. <laughs> All right, here we go.
finished up, I should say. Um, my hair feels lightweight, which I absolutely love. And I'm gonna let the rest of my hair go ahead and dry. I'm gonna air dry it to about, let's say about 90% dry. So let's check the time right now, right now that I finished. It is officially 8.30, so it took me a little bit on a little bit over an hour to finish my hair, which is okay. Right now that it's in its most sensitive state, try not to touch your hair anymore. As tempting as it is to touch your hair, do not touch it, leave it alone. I know you wanna just like, oh, it feels good, blah, 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 like keep touching it, keep doing it, no. Then hello and pass, like leave it alone. Like, okay, I don't have to clip this up because it's gonna be on my face. <laughs> oh, there we go, much better. So, again, right now, while your hair is styled with all the products, leave it alone, don't touch it because si tu lo tocas, if you touch it, you are gonna cause frizz. And, honey, we are not here to cause frizz, okay? I don't want for I don't want to cause frizz. I want my hair to be frizzless. Frizzless. Is that even a word? I don't want any frizz on my hair, okay? So I'ma let it I'ma let it air dry. While I'm letting my hair air dry, I'm gonna go make my lunch for work tomorrow and possibly for the week or whatever I can do. But um the dew cream and the dew big pop of gel beautiful combo i am so excited to see it diffused i section my hair into smaller sections which is probably probably why it took me longer than usual to do my hair best combo give it a try i'll go ahead and put the price above if i haven't already target has it so check your local target targo check your local target check online check where you need to check um sally has sally's beauty supply has it as well i remember going online they have their two for 20 or something like that i'll put that up as well if they still have the sale they don't do not sleep on this again i'm gonna go air dry my hair and i'm gonna go cook my lunch so i will catch you guys later with the final oh i said i was gonna touch it with the final look catch you guys later all right so i am done officially done for the day with my hair and i'm done with the day it is 10 o'clock 10 and change 10 and change was like 10 and change um i have my lunch ready for tomorrow and let me set you guys down here all right so as i was saying i am done for the night i'm done for the day i have my lunch ready to go hair is ready to go now the only difference that i've done with my hair today that I um, have done prior previously is one I did not diffuse my hair upward so for example let me show you guys just showing you guys with the diffuser normally when we get when we're supposed to get our roots all you know all dried up all diffused we tend to go upwards and diffuse our hair like that I did not do that this time I, st I used to do that, but I did not do that this time. I continued going this way. Shout out to Happy Curl, Happy Girl. But I subscribed to her channel and she made a valid point. She said, if we're diffusing this way, but yet we're applying our products downwards, we're contradicting our curls. We're going against them. So what's the point of raking downwards, applying all these products on the hair, downwards but yet we're diffusing this way so it doesn't make any sense so i'm like you know what she makes a valid point so i can tell my hair doesn't show the volume that it normally does after i do my hair and i'm okay with that and another thing that she did mention was do not touch your hair so i have not touched my hair besides applying my oils i went ahead and applied what i'm infamous for my Garnier Fortis Moroccan Sleek Oil. And to keep my hair hydrated and um, conditioned, I went ahead and put uh, jojoba oil on there as well. So I just gently applied it. I didn't, 
I did use the praying hands method, so I did it this way. Both sides just sectioned it in half. And I feel good. I feel great. So that's the only reasons why I, I touched my hair. Otherwise, I am not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to get ready for bed. It is way past my bedtime. So until tomorrow. Oh, and another thing that I'm used to doing that I did not do today. I did not pick my hair. I normally look for volume. I pick my hair normally. I use the sprinkle. I go in and I pick for volume. I did not do that this time. I'm going to do that for day one. Day two, excuse me. Day two hair. I'm going to leave it for tomorrow morning. Pick up my hair. Leave the volume. And we'll, oops, I just touched my hair. Um, and we'll just go from there. But as of tonight, I am done. So I will catch you guys on the next video. And I do have some new products that I have bought already. That I'm already excited to show you guys. But stay tuned and you guys will find out what products those are. So, again, I've been your host, Ana Carolina, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!